Okay, take one on a rather chilly, somewhat windy evening at Mount Pinos, California. We are looking at the constellation Orion at one power, unity magnification. Have it with a Gen 3 unfilmed white phosphor image intensifier and a 12, no, 7 nanometer H alpha filter. And you've got the upper left bright star in the hourglass would be Betelgeuse, the lower right is Rigel, in the middle you've got the belt stars. And uh, the camera here is a Panasonic GH3 set to 1 30th of a second shutter, ISO is 3200. We're in uh, standard picture mode and we're looking with the H alpha filter to catch some interesting H alpha structures, specifically Barnard's loop. Which you can make out on the left side of the center there. That's the loop that kind of goes from, let's say, 12 o'clock counterclockwise down to almost 6 o'clock. Goes around Orion. And then on the belt, you got uh, on the leftmost belt star, you've got the um, Horsehead Nebula, which is not particularly resolved because it's so small. Sticking downward, and then to the upper left of it, the little tiny blob would be the flame at 1x. That's pretty hard to make out. And then the brighter thing in the sword down below that leftmost belt star is the uh, Great Nebula in Orion. If we move up to the top of Orion, you can make out this faint angelfish looking structure. That would be the Mesa Ring in Orion. Can you see the angelfish? I'll come back down at Barnard's loop again, and then if we swing over, we get the Rosette Nebula right there, which is pretty small at 1x, and a little bit of nebulosity around it. Get somebody walking around my setup at the moment. Uh, that's the Rosette Nebula there, and then if I go straight down, I can catch one more nebula. Okay, just coming into view near Canis Major. Kind of a sideways blob, that would be the Seagull Nebula. Again, kind of small at 1x. And that bright star would be um, Sirius to the right of it, lower right of it. So we'll go back up to the Rosette, which is tiny, and back over to Orion, which is the main entree here, and the Barnard's Loop, which is what I want to show you. You can get this essentially in real time, 30 frames a second, with a Gen 3 unfilmed image intensifier, or a thin film for that matter and the right type of narrowband H alpha filter. So that is Barnard's Loop in Orion from Mount Pinos, California. Okay, that's gonna be a wrap.